Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about my side project. Uh, you can call me UJ and find me on this social media. Uh, the more about me, I work at Garmin in Taiwan. 100% uh, I person according to MBTI. So love solving the legal question alone. Uh, also, it's just my second time going abroad. Uh, both are for Chinese with Tokyo, but this year as uh, the speaker. Very grateful. So, uh, this is a simple balance game, and this guy is a meme in Taiwan. He takes the hard part, walks on the road. We use the left and right directions to control his weight. When he falls, then he hurts, and the game's over. Let's see the playing video. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so as you see, we only use the left and right actions. So in addition to slider, we also can use a button, toggles, some gesture, or something else to play this game. Uh, this time, I will show you something special. Our first is the device motion. Uh, we can use the core motion object to get the accelerometer data of your iPhone, which represents uh, how much your phone is tilted. Uh, this is the reference about how to get the accelerometer data. So you can read this document and write the code on the game view, then we take a look. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> now I want to try some wireless technologies. The external keyboard. Uh, this is one of the accessibility features. Some people with motor disability uh, rely on that, so maybe your app also need to be keyboard accessible. Uh, because my app only use the left and right arrow keys, so I choose the accessibility adjustable action. Uh, the same, we read the document, write the code, and take a look. Yeah, great. And how about using a uh, game controller? Uh, we can use this framework and play with some stick. Uh, like the device motion, uh, here uh, we can find a document about how to get the input data from the game controller. So again, we read the document, write the code, and take a look. Yeah, awesome. And one more thing, eye checking. Uh, it is a new function on iOS 18. Uh, it is also one of the accessibility features. You can use your eyes to focus on the view or even perform an action. Let's see how to use it. Uh, the most simple way is the unhover modifier. When your eyes focus, uh, sorry, hover on the view, then the closure will be called. So, as you know that, we read the document, write the code, and take a look. Watch this. Looking right, she's looking left, and turning left, looking right. Come on, come on, right, left, whoa. Uh, so excited. Okay, the last page. So you see, I write the game view once and use that with my hands, the keyboard, game controller, or without hand, but using eyes. Here are the references I've mentioned. Uh, in last, uh, thanks to my partner, Jane, 
for making the video, and the Taiwan IELTS study group for improving my slide. Follow me here. Arigatou gozaimasu. Have a good day.